Hello friends, this video on respiration in organisms part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now learn about the human respiratory system. So we will see how exactly do we undergo this entire process of respiration. So what are the special structures that we have in our body? So now we will look at the various parts in our body which helps us in the process of respiration. So that, that the, all these organs together form the respiratory system in human beings. So let us first look at the various organs which together form the respiratory system and they are nostrils. So as you can see here these are the nostrils which is also called as nose, nasal cavity. So just these nostrils are nothing but two openings which you can feel in, in your nose you have two holes or two openings just those holes they get into a space so this space is the nasal cavity next is pharynx from nasal cavity this passage is the pharynx this portion is pharynx next is trachea so this pharynx goes into this tube like structure which is called trachea and this trachea further connects to the lungs so there are two lungs present on either side so you see here it, it's like uh, the trachea is one tube which goes till here and then it bifurcates onto two sides one into each lung so there is one right lung and another next uh, the left lung the lungs are the most important the vital respiratory organ of human beings now this trachea then further branches out into thinner tubes which are called bronchi and the bronchi branches out further into more thin tubes which are called bronchioles and the bronchioles further have their terminal endings called alveoli. So it is something like this. Say you have this as your trachea. So this trachea will actually divide into bronchi so this will be bronchi this bronchi will further divide into bronchioles and these bronchioles will further divide into alveoli so that's how the structure of bronchi bronchioles and alveoli are so these are the various parts of the respiratory system so now we will discuss about each of these parts in detail so first we'll talk about nostrils and the nasal cavity so what is the purpose of having nostrils? So they are openings through which air is taken in. So we breathe in or breathe out through the nostrils. So there has to be some opening which will act as an interface between uh, the interior of our body and the external surroundings. So that door or that window is nothing but the openings which are present in the form of nostrils. So there are fine hairs which are present here and they act as filters. Now if, if you have ever observed just you can feel it inside your nostrils that there are very tiny thin hair present. Now why do you have those hair because when you inhale or when you breathe in the air might contain dust, uh, tiny dirt particles or some other toxic substances. So these hairs will not allow the undesired particles to get inside your body because from nose it will gradually move to the nasal cavity and then it can even reach the lungs. Now once these uh, toxic substances reach your lungs they can cause infection in your lungs and that can make you fall ill. So that is why you have these hairs present in nostrils so that it doesn't allow the foreign particles to get inside your body. The next part is the nasal cavity. So whatever we breathe in through the nostrils, that is the opening, after that it gets into a cavity, an open space like structure as you can see here. So that is called nasal cavity. Now the way our mouth opens to the oral cavity, so this is the opening called mouth and inside this you have this cavity which is nothing but the oral cavity. Similarly, these are your nostrils and this space is the nasal cavity. And if you look at it, this is nasal cavity and this is this entire thing is oral cavity. So nasal cavity and oral cavity, they are separated by a bony plate. So it is like one bony structure which is present which separates the two cavities. So it, it is just like the first floor and the second floor of your house. So you just have a layer of wall which acts as the roof for the first floor and it acts as the 
and then you have the floor for the second floor so that partition between the first and second floor similarly here you have a partition between the oral cavity and the nasal cavity and this partition is made up of bones so nasal cavity is the cavity where the air reaches through the nostrils so after nostrils the air will reach to the nasal cavity now inside the nasal cavity you can actually see that there is a, a central septum which separates the left and right air passages dividing the two nostrils. Now have you ever observed the opening of your nostrils? So there are two openings. Why do you have two openings? Because there is a wall in between. So this is let us say if this is your right opening this is your left opening so what do you see there is a partition between the two and that is why you have left and right air passages so what is this partition this partition is called the central septum so septum divides our nostrils into left and right air passages and that's how it divides the nostrils into two halves so you would have um, seen it or in fact if you practice uh, yoga then you must be knowing that there is an exercise where you try to breathe in through your uh, right nostril and then you try to breathe out through your left nostril. So, so when you press one nostril or one, when you try to close the opening of one nostril so then you breathe in through the other one. So basically they are just like two different roots. Now basically it was one root which has been divided into two halves by the central septum. So that is how that is how the internal structure of the nostril and nasal cavity is. Now apart from fine hairs, uh, some cilia and mucus which is a slimy slippery substance which is also present inside the nasal cavity and they also block dust particles, germs, microorganisms and other unwanted particles from entering inside and they also keep the inside uh, area of the nasal cavity moistened. So it moistens the air whichever we breathe in so that air it moistens that air. So the nasal passages are lined with ciliated epithelium and mucus. So ciliated. What? Actually, what? Let me ask you one thing. What are cilia? So cilia are nothing but tiny, thin hair-like structures. So structures like this. These are called cilia. So they are also hair-like structures. So what is their purpose? Similar to hair, that is, they will also block dust particles, microorganisms, germs, etc. So that is the purpose of cilia. So what will it do? It will block the unwanted or undesired particles from entering inside our body. What about mucus? Mucus being a slimy, slippery substance, it will try to moisten the air which we have breathed in. So that is its purpose. So that is why the nasal cavity has cilia as well as mucus. So air enters through the nostrils, get warmed and moistened at the nasal cavity. So that, that's what that happens till now. So nostril is only the opening through which air will enter. Once it enters, it goes into the nasal cavity where it will get moistened due to presence of mucus and it also get warmed up because it is like a closed open space. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.